can't stand, it's, it kills you, which is unfortunate. But these are solid enough to stand on. Always need something solid enough to stand on. And again, I'm collecting all the carrots, because I really, really want to show you the five in a row, because... That is not something you see every day. Five in a row in a bingo game, where you only need three. Somebody usually yells first and says, oh, I got three! And you curse, and... I don't think those bingo games like that, so I'm just making this shit up. And... More waterfalls. Let's take a shower in the waterfall. Naked rabbit showering in the waterfall. Good thing we don't have like decency taboos on animals because that would be stupid if we had to dress up our cows and chickens. I'm sure there's people who do that. There's nothing wrong with that, I'm just saying it's, it would be annoying if everybody had to. My cats certainly wouldn't have liked, you know, once I still had cats. They wouldn't have liked wearing pullovers and pants and whatnot. They would have been very much against it. I think this is the first, I will call him real boss in the game, though I guess you could say it's Tweety. And he, he's glitchy. Yeah, he, he's a glitchy fucker. And there we go. We managed to beat Wily Coyote from the intro. So I think we won't have to confront him again. I'm not absolutely certain about that though. And there we get the first cool bonus round. I love these. It's, it's a Willy the Weasel game. It's trademark somehow. I mean, it's you have to trademark these things, otherwise people are gonna steal them, right? And it's whack-a-mole. It, it's totally whack-a-mole. Whack the moles, whack them, whack them. Or I guess it's weasels. Whack the weasels. Whack the weasels, weasel, weasel, weasel. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I, uh, how many did I get? 26. And you see, I pretty much doubled my life count. And these things cost 20 carrots, but it's totally worth it. It's like the infinite life trick in Mario games, only you get them as part of the actual game, so you don't even have to figure anything out. You can just whack the weasels, whack the weasels, whack the weasels, whack the weasels. They are the enemy of all bunnyhood. Die, my enemies. And another seven lives, so we got 21 lives, and we're never gonna use them. I love how NES games like Mario or Bugs Bunny reward you with lives, even... Oh, 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 I did not expect this part. Right, right, it always gets me. Always surprises me, but I always somehow make it, which is cool design. Like, you can still make it if you're surprised. You don't have to know it. This time the blue ones don't hurt. I'm courageous though, I'm going when they're red. Courageous little bunny. That's who Bugs Bunny is. I love Bugs Bunny. This is not a cool mechanic, it's, it gives you this this sound and this feeling like you're drowning in quicksand, which obviously I, a I am right now. I wonder how far I can go. Okay. So I can, can just... He should suffocate right now, but he's Bugs Bunny, so that does not happen. And so you get really desperate to get out, the first time at least you get in. You think, oh my god, I'm dead, and then you can actually button mash your way out, which is really cool. Uh, I think these things hurt, these in the quicksand, which is another cool mechanic. I don't know what they are, and I mean, nobody can know what they are, because they are hidden, but... That makes them all the more scary. Like, why do they move like this? What are they? What is the meaning in their lives? It's a mysterious game, Bugs Bunny's birthday blow up. Mysterious game. And he's gonna blow, she's gonna blow. She's gonna blow. Where's that from, anyway? She's gonna, she's gonna blow. I, I should know. Is it Star Trek? Is it Scotty? Star Trek? I, I really don't know. I'm actually starting to notice that my hearts are diminishing, so I'm trying to be careful here. Not letting this metal thing spit tears at me. Oh gosh, that was unnecessary, I could just have... Yeah. 
some more disappearing fair blocks. I wish more games did that part of thing, like that kind of thing, and not the disappearing ones that you can't see. I don't think these actually happen in the desert. These are nice because there's no evil stone coming out to kill you once you use the warp pipe. There we go, another easy Daffy Duck thing. Once you figure it out that you have to get the carrot instead of killing him, you, you've pretty much got all those levels for free. I don't know why they even put the rabbit season in there. But hey, it's a funny joke, right? They have to repeat that. Jokes get funnier the more you use them. Oh yeah, bonus round. And we have 30 carrots. Or 20 carrots now, but come on, let's go for the five in a row. No. Time to get the rhythm. No. No. I mean, you can't you can't rhythm by looking at the numbers because you they're so they're so fast you can't see them. I don't know, but I I do remember there was a trick to this. Believe me, there was a trick to this. I just don't remember the trick. Oh God. We have an earthquake going on. Which is nice, it's sort of a way to live up the same old desert scenery we've seen last level. And I really like how they re recycled the levels, it's just... Not not every level is the same. In the last one you had the sort of ground trying to swallow you up as a gimmick. And here you have yeah you have these tornadoes and the ground shaking, which is nice, which is really cool. And let's go there first. Let's see what's in here. Some carrots. I always love me some carrots. Got some carrots in the fridge. Maybe I'll eat them after this let's play. Like, just some carrots. I like carrots. I think I already said I like carrots, but I'm saying it again. Just because. Do you see? I, I killed the tears. I am the killer of tears. Ah, oh, and the tears are killing me now. Alright, oh, these, these suckers explode. I don't think you can ride the stones, but maybe you can and then it'll just explode at some point, which is just as annoying. You can jump through these platforms, I think. Most annoying thing about these guys, uh, I'm stuck up there, is that they come back once they die. So you can't just wait for them to explode, like they always do, you have to sort of time it. Again, at least there's no stone in the warping pipe gourd thing, whatever it is. Whatever you would call it. Well. It's a well. Maybe a well. Oh gosh. Earthquakes. Earthquakes. God, I hate earthquakes. Well, earthquakes. Earthquakes. Oh, fuck language. Fuck language. Oh, this is... This is... I, I have to prepare you guys for this. There's images of graphic violence that are gonna follow because... Do you see this sphinx? And do you see its stomach moving? You know why it's moving? It's because it's alive. And look what you can do to the poor thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The brains. The brains. And it's still alive. It's still alive. Oh god. Oh god. At least there's no blood. Oh god. Oh god. I, I do need to get at those carrots. I mean, everything for the carrots. I'm, I, I leave it half alive. I leave it half alive. And and the head. Maybe I should kill the head so he can't feel any pain. Yeah, let's go with that. So you only have those neurons in the body sort of sending signals, but nothing's receiving them. So that should be okay. I I, I do think I do think it's no longer conscious. I think it's okay. I think I think we have mercy. We have mercy on the Sphinx. Even though it's still twitching. It's like a spider. If you smash a spider and it's still twitching, that's okay. Because that's just that's just nerf impulses. Um, who do we have here? I think it's Tweety again. Hiding in the cloud. And yeah, you shouldn't hide with Tweety because that's just painful. Come on, little sucker. Come on. Gotcha. Is there going to be a tomato? No. Nope. And dead. The 
carrot did not expect me. Har har har. You, you always have to sneak up on those carrots because they're gonna run away otherwise. Why do they drop out of the sky only once you've beaten the boss? I wonder. Who drops the carrots? Why are there carrots in mysterious WB blocks hidden? Or, or not hidden, but strewn all over the land? As I said, it is a mysterious game. Flying carrots in green blocks that turn into blue or... Here it is, grey. Warner Brothers blocks. There is a mystery here. I did not comment on these yet. It's, it's just this like medieval torture instrument standing willy-nilly in the desert. Not only does it not make any sense, it just looks freaking terrifying, doesn't it? Never want to see one of those in real life. Dear God, especially not in a working condition, like it's actually moving. Ugh. These game designers, they had a really mean streak. Totally knew the timing there. Just jump and it's gonna be okay. Just jump. Don't need the heart. For you obsessive compulsive people out there, I'm really sorry, but I'm not gonna get the heart. I just don't know what's the most humane way to deal with these guys. Maybe if I kill the alive parts and just leave the, the head. Because the, the head, without anything to send it pain, should be okay. Maybe, maybe I, don't, I don't kill it that way, or maybe not really, maybe it'll survive a while. I don't know. It's, it's, it's really an ethical question, isn't it? Kill the Sphinx this way or that way? What do you take away? The stomach, where it's, where it's alive, or the brain, where it thinks up all its riddles? And they say video games are only for kids, right? Uh, this, I mean, that might be a torture instrument, but this is just torture. Plain torture. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it was gonna happen, but I had to get the carrot. I had to get the carrot. I had to. I'm sorry, Bugs Bunny. I'm so sorry. How are we gonna do this? I, 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 I don't know if I can take it anymore. I'm gonna leave the carrots. It has been too much on, on my, my, my psyche. I cannot take it. I cannot bring myself to kill even one more Sphinx. And still I managed 50 carrots, so Karma totally totally helped me out there. And I, ha I would have 59 if I would have gotten the Sphinx carrot. So. This is the best end boss ever. It's like just smash all the blocks you want. We know you love to do this thing. Oh yeah, and these blocks, I don't have any ethical qualms about them at all. Ah, oh, die blocks. I, I love how they explode into a shower of particles. And by shower of particles, of course, it's four particles, but for an NES game, that's still quite impressive. This is another one of those good-looking NES games. There's quite a few of those that are actually really pretty for... What it has to work with. I'm gonna be playing through more of those. I think I'll, I'll pick out one or two ugly ones as well, just to sh show the difference, but I like playing pretty games. I like playing pretty games. I mean, I, I like playing ugly games as well. I'm a bit of a Dwarf Fortress player, though I haven't played that in ages because it just takes time and effort. Just the actual book on Dwarf Fortress, in case you're interested, you can get it on Amazon, which is really cool, because it's a game you need a book for. But never mind, we're not talking about that, we're talking about this game. We should really remain in the present. See you later, and 26 lives, haven't lost a single one yet. Don't know when I'm gonna start losing lives, I think there's one or two levels that are a bit tricky. Especially the ones with the lianas or something, where you have to swing. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. No worries. As always, no worries. Never worry about me. I'm gonna be alright. And uh, more of these guys. Torture, torture, torture. 
What's the obsession with this Bugs Bunny game and torture instruments? And this one's real torture. You have to be really exact, precise, and everything. But then I'm a precise, exact guy. An exacting creature. Oh, these are the... Oh, these I was telling... Oh, oh god. Oh god, no. No. That did not come out well. Was I already in here? Let's see. Yeah, I was. That's what I came out of. Huh? Okay. Already got the... Ugh! That was unexpected. I think I'm gonna leave the carrot, because otherwise I'm gonna die. And this, I think, is the only door in the game. Oh, and you, sh you shouldn't be trying to get in there anyway, because you can't. Just wanted to show you, and then... Unfeeling heart of ice. Must kill everything in sight. I am a robot without emotions. I can do this thing. I can do this thing. I can do this thing. Oh, and we got a heart. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yes. 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 But funnily enough, they recharge you. And you can stand on the rock things. I didn't remember that. I thought they always sort of hurt. Forty carrots. I think this is the entry to the boss. No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. That that was that was a trick jump. Tricky jumps. And there we go. Da -da 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 We've got Elmer Fudd. I have no idea how to beat him because he shoots three times and. I don't know how to evade this shit. I, I usually just brute force him and get hit, take damage, and don't really care. I got 20 carrots now. I didn't have, have, have 40 before. So, that's interesting. I didn't remember that. So, if you actually lose, maybe I, because I didn't remember losing all that much in this game, but maybe. It's actually a bit of a bonus because everything respawns. So, you can get all the carrots you.